Tommy Jonigan has spent about a third of his life on tour. He started performing stand-up comedy when he was a teenager, then left college to do it full-time, and he hasn't left the road much since. Like if you ask, he makes it to Omaha about once a year. Tommy right. Jonigan, what's up? Welcome Thanks back. for having me back. Good to Straight have you here. Of David Letterman last night, right? Letterman last night, then this morning, the morning blend. <laughs> well, at least we're keeping it on CBS. <laughs> Did you guys have Colin Firth? <laughs> <laughs> he was on Letterman with me last night. I didn't know if he was here no, also. He wasn't no. here. Oh, Sorry. Well, how did the bit go? How did David Letterman go? I had fun. It was a great time. It's, uh, it was my seventh appearance, mm -hmm. yeah. which uh, I, you know, I'm, I've never, ever bragged on myself, but that seems like a big deal to me, and I'm like uh, so happy <laughs> to just be able to do it. Seven times seems yeah. unreal. Why it does seems he keep unreal. asking you back? I don't know. He's quitting now, so I think that's. I think I'm just in. He's like, this is the only way I'm gonna get rid of this guy is if I retire from television. You know, we talked to other comedians that have been on David Letterman, and they don't get much. Uh, they get based not even a handshake. Uh, do you get to spend any well, time? Well, he and I, it? when I do it, we generally will spend a week together. Uh, and, but I, I, I wanted to come to Omaha, so I was like, Dave. <laughs> Cut it short. I got to yeah. go to Omaha. Uh, maybe have lunch with Warren Buffett, <laughs> ideally. I don't know. I got some Put it out there. Paul McCartney ideas. just right. did. Well, they had yeah, ice right? cream together a What's few nights back. Who's Paul McCartney? I don't even, who's he? Why can't I have? <laughs> did you see the selfie, though? Did you have? I did see that? the selfie. Yeah, isn't that cute? You know what? I stopped going on Facebook when they started controlling your emotions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you see that story? <laughs> no. Yeah. Only Facebook, sad stuff. Right. Like, literally oh, yeah, yeah, did yeah. an experiment where they controlled people's actual emotions by controlling what's in their Facebook yeah. feed. So I stopped looking at my Facebook feed. Speaking of technology, I, I read a piece where you were talking about your mom and trying to explain to her oh, the I've difference between iTunes, iTunes and the mom. internet. So is what's, it, the, there you are, this is you last we're, night. We're, yeah. Am it I talking or is that me? No, that's you, last night. That's last night. You look nice. You look nicer the there suit. than you do this morning. I'm, that's the same shower. I'm wearing the same shower <laughs> from that show. So this is, a, this, this is a New York shower you're working on right shower. now? Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, I had to explain iTunes to my mom over the phone. I don't know if you've ever had to explain anything like that to my mom, but it's not easy. She wanted iTunes. I said, go online, find iTunes, download it, create a username and a password, and you have iTunes. She said, are there spaces in that? That was her next question. She asked if there were spaces in a sentence I said out loud because she was typing everything into the browser bar. Just www.go online, find iTunes, download it, create a username, and a password.com. <laughs> Brutal. She called me an hour later. She goes, I downloaded a song. Is it supposed to open in Microsoft Works? <laughs> no, it is not. I don't even know how you made that happen. <laughs> Microsoft Works. I'm not smart enough to be dumb enough to work backwards and understand the amount of things you did wrong in a row to open a song in Microsoft Works. Bill Gates couldn't open a song in Microsoft Works, but my mom did it. I think she hacked into Microsoft. <laughs> That's so Amazing. sweet. Are you, are you an only child? Does I got, she have others she can call? She has others she can call. They're yeah. smart enough to not answer the phone. <laughs> they don't answer the phone. You know, they have these things now where you can log into somebody's computer from a long distance away. Oh, you get yeah. a password and you can log in. You should do you that. You should do that. Oh. Like PC uh -huh. Anywhere kind of thing. My, our new thing is because I have a daughter, um, uh, we uh, FaceTime, and uh, basically I, it's not even FaceTime. I just look up my mom's nose for 20 minutes a week because <laughs> she holds it right here. <laughs> She's like, hey, what do you see? I was like, you have some blockage on the left side. It's like a, <laughs> it looks like I'm watching a surgery on Discovery Channel. I'm starting to think we're related. Oh, man. Is it possible we have the my same mom, mom? You've seen an iPad, right? Yeah. It's, it's legitimately the most simple thing. They're user-friendly. There's one button. There's yeah. one button on it. My mom asked where the wireless router plugged into it. <laughs> I swear to God, she asked where the wireless... Bless her heart. <laughs> Does she love being a grandma? Oh, she loves being... Uh, she doesn't get to see her. We live in Los Angeles, so yeah. she doesn't get to see the baby. My girlfriend and I also, I'm not married. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a baby and we're not married. Have you thought about it? What, I mean, your, what does your mom think about that? Is it okay with yeah. it? We do think about it. I, you know, personally, I don't love the idea of marrying a chick that has a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a lot of baggage. <laughs> I can't have that. I have a, I have a baby to think about. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, you do. I can't bring this in. So, uh, well, at some point, though, your daughter might ask questions. We are going to get married, and yeah. that's the reason. That's the real reason is because mm -hmm. I don't want my daughter to think that there's something at her family that's not, there's not security or something. And, you know, we're going to have, we, uh, my girlfriend and I have been trying to have a, a second baby for three months. I found out on Saturday. <laughs> so, <laughs> really, a lot going on in our house. Yeah, how did you feel about that? 
Uh, I feel great about it. I just felt like I would have liked to have been part of the process more than I am. I just, so we're, we're trying for number two. Uh, so Letterman last night, last month, a new special yeah, yeah. just mm -hmm. out. How, how was three received? No, Comedy Central. Wasn't I it? did a Comedy Central special and then I released um, this? my third yeah. album, which uh, a lot of people make fun of the titles. Uh, stand Up Comedy 3, three. <laughs> it's the third album. Right, yeah. behind it's two and one. It's Stand Up Comedy. My name's Tommy Jonigan. What more do you need? You've got all the information. <laughs> so the stand up, the, the special seemed to, I think people liked it. Uh -huh. uh, and the album's out. It's, um, it was on iTunes. It, it was a billboard. I went on the, the uh, like number six on Billboard, which I didn't know That's was cool. a, still like a, a certain genre. The Billboard like comedy. comedy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I wasn't mm -hmm. with uh, the real music. Right. I was in <laughs> specifically uh, comedy. Does all of this come about because of Last Comic Standing? He vanished second four years ago. I mean, how did that change the trajectory you of your success? You know what? It's, it, uh, I, I, I think it's with stand-up now, it used to be, or the way it used to be is you did Carson, and then you're huge. Then you're now yeah, it's I mean. everything is like a little step. and. Last Comic Standing was a big leap. Like yeah. a lot of people watched it. I still get people that come to the show that are fans of it. But you know that, and you need that, and then you also need like a Comedy Central special, and then right. the Letterman. Mm -hmm. So all of it together, it's like I'm hoping it just adds up to but something. That Last Comic Standing, it sounds like it's it kind of slingshots a lot of these. It does. Yeah. Like it fast tracks them. Yeah, yeah. The the one thing that's funny is uh, what was it three four, three or four years ago? I, so I've been doing stand like 13 years now. Yeah. So at the time I'd been doing it 10 years. And uh, I did the show, and people were like, man, it's so good for somebody that just started. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what, what, what was I doing those years <laughs> before? 13. The whole decade. Uh, right. Tommy John again, back at the Funny Bone tonight, two shows, two more shows tomorrow, and then one on Sunday, and he's out of here. You can call the number on the screen to get tickets or log on to FunnyBoneOmaha.com and purchase tickets there. Mm -hmm. Tommy John again, great to have Good you back. Thanks for having me as always. Thank you. Good luck with uh, Everything. your girlfriend and her kid. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and your kid. We look yeah. forward I to you a picture. I'd love for you to put a picture of my baby Send on that thing. Send it to us. Oh, we she's need adorable. that. Yeah. She is way We're better than most me. babies. <laughs> <laughs> she averages about 140 likes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's bringing the heat. We'll crank them up for you. <laughs> uh, 